country people, the wedding wellers are still well you know. We heard this time around, they are in a deep regret. How did KBAC hate us this much? What did we do to attract this kind of hate that KBAC have where we are? That is what the Uluris are wailing. Because for so long now, many of them have not had access to KBAC's chamber. We heard that the only person that have access to KBAC's chamber this week is Temitope. That is why you normally see Temitope on social media right now with KBAC. Because it is her turn to be with KBAC. So she is the one doing everything with KBAC in the palace. She is the one enjoying KBAC. But today, oh my correct people, KBAC told Temitope to go that someone superior is coming. Yes, someone bigger than her is coming. That is what KBAC told Temitope. Without telling Temitope who the person is. So, yes, the only thing where KBAC tells Temitope is, CEO, you will not come to the chamber today. I am expecting someone bigger than you. Temitope obeyed. As we heard, she left. And today evening, after KBAC attended the Wenaomi church, Una, guess what? Hmm. Mommy said in the car, oh, the almighty Queen Naomi stormed the palace with KBAC life. KBAC was so happy as we heard. There are butterflies in his tummy. He was laughing. He was chatting. When I know when KBS is happy, you must surely not say he is happy. He doesn't hide it. KBS was all smiling because say Queen Naomi entered palace with him today and along with Prince Tadenekao. KBS was so, so happy. While the welling well as we are observing from their balcony what is going on in the palace. The one who shocked Miriam, like I said earlier, was that Miriam got the worst embarrassment of her. Uh, her life today from Queen Naomi. As immediately Queen Naomi came down from uh, KBAC's convoy, we heard that Queen Naomi had to go straight to Miriam's apartment and gave her a serious warning. Yes, he gave Miriam better warning. We heard that Miriam was shivering, Miriam was in shame. Queen Naomi shattered her for her presence. She did not utter a word. Yes. She did not utter any word at all, at all. So right now, waiting with the hearsay that Mommy Tedenekao has decided to spend a night in the palace. My God, people know this more allow. Immediately, the Oloris get the news, say, when Naomi will be spending the night with Kabi in the palace, so their mood change. Their face changed. Everything about them. Those where they eat stopped eating. The wedding wellers, they started wailing. Miriam was lamenting. Say, you see this thing where Queen Naomi used to call Kabiye. She said it, it is not ordinary. That Queen Naomi, they used something whole Kabiye. That this thing where Queen Naomi, they used whole Kabiye. It is not ordinary. Now waiting, all of the Miriam, they lament for palace. Yes, Ronke was in her own apartment lamenting Ashley was there because they failed woefully. They thought that they don't carry fight, enter Queen Naomi church, say Queen Naomi go fear, Queen Naomi no go enter palace. But Queen Naomi right now don't tell them, say that she is the superior, she is the only legal wife of KBC. And she has come the palace to spend a night with her husband, which she is legally married to. Yes, the court has made it known that Queen Naomi is still legally married to KBAC. Yes. So both of them are still together since KBAC has not uh, collected Queen Naomi's dowry. Automatically, KBAC is still married to Queen Naomi, the same way that Baba Nasir is still married to Olori Maria. Yes, and that makes Queen Naomi the first wife of Kabiesi, which Olori Miriam has been dragging with her. 
that when Naomi is no longer the first wife, that she, Miriam, is the first wife. She is the yellow of the source. Kiniko, kiniko. There is nothing where this woman know they talk for palace. But she is in shame today. Because see, the claim say you be the first wife of KBAC. You know they sleep with KBAC. You know they come close to KBAC's chamber. You know they feed KBAC. There is nothing when Miriam they do for KBAC. And she still the claim say she is close to KBAC. So right now, it don't shock the Oloris one by one. Say, Mommy, today they call Storm the Palace to spend a night with her husband. With the husband of her youthful age, like when Naomi fondly called Kabiesi. That is the name we hear say, Mommy said, then they like called Kabiesi. Say, Kabiesi is the husband of her youthful age. Yes, because Kabiesi now the one will break with Naomi virginity, as we heard that. When Naomi entered palace, she was still a virgin. It was Kabiesi that this virgin her. And you will always see KBS standing by Queen Naomi because he knows say he's the one that deflowered her. Queen Naomi knows no sin. Queen Naomi knows no man before she entered palace. It was KBS that did the job. That is why KBS's love for Queen Naomi grew to the extent that the Oloris cannot break it down again. Even though they are using Juju, even though they are using Kayamata, a lot of things that they have been using to bring Queen Naomi and Kabiesi's relationship down. They couldn't. Because the bond that is holding these two is very strong. That the Oloris cannot uh, break it. So my country people. Now so the wedding well as they for palace. From their balcony. They observe what they saw for inside Kabiesi's chamber. Because we heard that by this time. Oh, Kabiesi don't lock up. All oh, the guard are waiting for in chamber to restrict from the uh, restrict the Oloris from entering his chamber. He doesn't allow them to barge in at night unless they sneak in, because they normally do. I no go lie for now. Say the Oloris know they sneak into Kabiesi's apartments. Yes, the Oloris they enter Kabiesi apartments. They sneak in. They have sneaked in so many times. There was a time where Toby sneaked in and stole a a, a, a diamond ring where Kabiesi vote for Queen Naomi. The same way plenty of them don't get Miriam. Then they always sneak in. They will go there and say one or two things. But right now, Queen Naomi has returned to take over. They don't know that this time around Queen Naomi came prepared. They don't know that this time around, Mommy said in a return back prepared because she is not going to allow the Oloris destroy KBAC. Yes, that is why she decided to return to stand in the gap. So right now, my wonderful people, the welling willers are welling. As Mommy said in a day for palace direct, we are hearing that she is going to spend a night in the palace. And Kabiesi is so happy about it. I beg my wonderful people, make a trick mouth for this matter. Drop your comments, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, stay tuned, stay connected for more updates will be dropping from time to time about waiting this up for palace.